hey guys welcome back to another video today i always start my videos off like that hey guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna be talking about my natural hair and just some tips that I believe that every like, at least every naturalista who is just beginning going natural, who is transitioning currently, or who just hasn't gotten the hang of it yet, if you have four type hair, you need to be here for this lesson. You need to listen to this video because I have gone through the trials and the tribulations, Lord. I have, you know, done a lot of, I guess, research and experimenting and I am ready to finally put it all together and help my nat my fellow naturalistas out. So if you stay tuned, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any more of my videos. We can get right into this video. Okay, so being natural is definitely something that I feel like has become so much more popular um, within the last like decade is what I would say. Um, and I say this because there's so much, so much more natural products now. So before it seems like a lot of people were obviously getting relaxers and they were really focusing on like straightening their hair. And then there was this movement that came along where a lot of, a lot of black women were interested in learning about their hair. We were no longer trying to conform to European uh, standards of beauty. That's a different topic, but we were no longer trying to get our hair straight. We were trying to get it to look like someone else's. We wanted to know about our own personal hair and that's how kind of the natural uh, movement, hair movement started. And so now we have products where companies are coming out with products that are supposedly gonna help us style our hair better, uh, perm, the sale of relaxers and perms has just gone down. So now we're in this whole world of like, you know, kind of what I like to call an awakening because for myself beforehand, I couldn't understand why my hair was so unhappy. Like hopefully I can find some pictures to put into this video, but ever since I've gone natural, my hair has been thriving. So the first thing that you should know when you're first going natural or if you have four type hair is that there are different types of hair. So when I say four type hair, uh, there's 4A, 4B, and 4C. And those are like the tighter curls, which you usually see African-American women with curls like that, unless they're like mixed or something. Um, so 4A is like a looser curl, all the way to like 4C where it's like a tighter coil. I have 4B, 4C type hair. And so a lot of people, well, some people do not like to use the scaling system of like 4A, 4B, 4C type hair, but I actually think it's very useful because it allows me, if I can, if somebody says like, oh, I have 4A hair, I know that my twist out is not gonna turn out the same as theirs because my hair is not the same curl pattern as theirs. But if they're like, oh, I have 4B, 4C hair and this conditioner look works amazing for me because my hair is usually dry or it's usually whatever, then I have a better chance of that uh, product working for my hair as well because it does make a huge difference. So the next thing is that being natural can be very expensive or very inexpensive and this is why a lot of people are like oh when you're natural it's gonna be so like you know i think now people do know that it's expensive but the reason for that is this if you want to be natural and you want to wear your hair literally in what we call a wash and go so you wash your hair and it's your natural curls after you've wet it or maybe put some conditioner in then yeah you're not going to be using a lot of products or time styling your hair you can literally get out of the shower and you can wet your hair put some conditioner in it and go usually you see girls who have a looser curl pattern do that and then once you get into like 4 before C, sometimes people are more uncomfortable because I know for myself, I don't like wearing wash and goes because my hair can, like, it doesn't even get this big. It shrinks all the way up. And I just, the way that my face is structured, I do not like the way that it looks on my hair when it's like that. But, but that doesn't mean that people don't love their hair. Uh, it doesn't mean that people don't love who they are. It just means that just like some people might not dye their hair blonde, they just don't like styling their hair like that. 
So if you do a wash and go, it'll probably probably be a lot less expensive or however you want to wear it in a fro, whatever is natural for your hair, truly natural. However, if you like to do twist outs like me or braid outs or bantu knots, things where it actually takes time for you to manipulate your hair, that's going to take uh, more time. So for me, it takes like 30 to 40 minutes to twist my hair. And then you're also going to be paying money for the products that you're going to use when you're twisting your hair and these products are not cheap there are some that are and there are some that are not and that's just kind of how it is in the natural hair world i probably spend more time doing my hair now than i did when i was relaxed but my hair is so much healthier now and honestly actually with me doing protective styles I probably actually don't spend as much time and when I have protective styles and usually my hair is in a very like healthy environment where it can grow more so it's kind of like a win-win situation. So now I want to give you guys just like basic advice on like how to actually manipulate and handle your hair. So number one I would say always 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 detangle your hair while it's wet. So in mm, mm, See, I was about to say there's a little there's a little caveat to that, but not really. Um, I always detangle my hair in the shower when I have conditioner in, and ever since I've done that, my life has changed. Like detangling is so much easier when you have a really good conditioner that's in your hair. It just it it's so much better for your hair. It's not breaking off, and your hair is more. It's easier to manipulate in that state than it is when it's dry and that's when it's dry and you're combing through or brushing through your hair that's when you find that your hair is going to be breaking off another piece of advice that i would give for all of the naturalistas out there is realize and understand going back to the types of hair that your hair um <laughs> so this is something that i'm working on myself but you may not always have the most definition, you may not have always have the most volume, but a part of being natural is not just being like, okay, I'm not getting a relaxer, but it almost is like just loving your hair and realizing what your hair can do. So I know for myself, my twist outs do not look the same as like my cousin's twist outs. Like she has a looser curl pattern and so hers just tend to look different and mine look different. And that doesn't mean that either of ours are more preferable or are better than the other. It's just kind of like a simple fact of life that the hair is going to be different and you're going to save yourself so much time and so much grief if you just learn to like accept your hair. I used to always want to have the most definition in my hair and now I just am like... Girl, I will throw my hair in a puff and poof it out, give it volume and be like, this is what you're getting today. And really the best way to wear a hairstyle or any look is confidence. If you're confident in your hair and you're not walking around all ashamed of it, then people are going to be like, oh, she meant, she meant for her hair to look like that. She didn't freaking shed a tear this morning when her twist out was still wet and she took it down. Silly. <laughs> Another thing I would say, if you are in an awkward stage with your hair as far as length, um, if you go back to some of my videos where I, when I first started, which was a year ago, which is kind of crazy, but um, I definitely had shorter, awkward length hair, and I had to learn how to style it, and a lot of the times I was using protective styles. So the protective styles that I love using are like twist, uh, getting braids, or even just like putting my hair in the halo twist you know there's so 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 many protective styles that you can use on your hair and the best thing about using a protective style is first of all they're really cute secondly they last you if you take care of it anywhere from like two weeks to two months and thirdly it allows for your hair to be put away from the elements so like when it's really cold outside, you know, that can really dry up your hair and then it makes more brittle and it's easier to break off. But when you have it in a protective style, it's kind of hidden. And if you want to grow your hair out more or uh, just kind of give it a break or give yourself a break as far as time, that's one of the best ways that I would advise. Don't just cut off your hair. I know some people are like, I'm just done. I'm cutting it off. No, give yourself a break 
and put your hair in a protective style and it allows you to switch it up um, and it allows you to give your hair a break as well. So those are my main tips for any naturalistas who maybe are transitioning or who just became natural or who just needed some more tips on how to have a happier natural hair journey. Trust me, I've been through it twice and I feel like I've learned so much about natural hair. I'm gonna be posting more videos on natural hair, so make sure that you're looking out for those. If we have similar hair types, go on ahead and join the family. Um, I know that I feel like my hair type, I do not see it a lot on like Instagram or a lot of like the natural hair YouTubers or influencers that we see. I feel like I don't really see hair that looks like mine. And so if you have 4B4C hair, go on ahead and comment down below. I wanna see where all of you are at. I want us to all connect. If you have 4A, 3A, 3C hair, go on ahead and comment down below too. We love you too, girl. All right, guys, so thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.